Hey, welcome back to Planet Walnuts at the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin. And today I'm going to go over my Twilight Time Blu-ray collection, which consists of a shelf and a half here in front of you. And I'm going to tack on my Kino Lorber Blu-ray collection. And we're going to do this all in one video. I do have it alphabetized, starting with numbers, going from A to Z. So let's jump right into it here with the Three Worlds of Gulliver. Twilight Time was a company that had very limited releases. Each of these Blu-rays were limited to 3,000 copies. Once they were gone, they were gone and they're out of print and you'd have to pay a little bit more on the secondary markets for some of the ones that you missed. The second one here is called 10 Rillington Place. This was based on a serial killer, I believe, uh, called John Christie. He was a British serial killer, I believe back in the 60s or 70s. Next one is a Charles Bronson Tough Cop Chasing a Serial Killer movie, 10 to Midnight. This was one of his later roles, but it's still very good. The next one is called Audrey Rose, somewhat of a horror movie. Next one is called The Believers. Twilight Time was a, very similar to like Criterion where they had kind of a wide variety of different genres of films. So you're going to see a, a very wide variety here in this collection. Here's a Humphrey Bogart movie called The Barefoot Contessa. Here's the remake of The Blob from 1988. Very good movie. I think it's superior to the original. Here's a Flying Aces type movie, war movie called the Blue Max. Next one is a very good movie called the Bounty, starring Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins. And I believe this is one of those um, where they overthrow the captain of the ship. They call that a mutiny. Here's a John Wayne tough guy movie called Brannigan. Very cool cover there. It looks like he's John Wayne just unloaded with a punch to that poor gentleman right there. He needs some milk. Here's a crime thriller from the 70s called Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. Western movie called Broken Lance. Some of these I really don't know much about. I picked up some of these on sale and just to kind of, I was going crazy in the beginning because um, you get that FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out and when they release limited quantities you want to grab a bunch of stuff hoping or thinking that they're going to go out of print and you can flip them for big bucks, but that never really quite happened with this company. Some of the titles are a little bit rare and harder to find and a little bit pricey, but it didn't work that way for all of them. Here's a movie called The Chase. Several, several of these titles, although they're out of print, you can find them on secondary markets for reasonable prices. Here's a Charles Bronson movie called Chato's Land. Carpenter's Christine. Killer Car, I believe it was a Plymouth Fury, right? I uh, don't want to spend too. Yes, Plymouth Fury. That's the type of car it was. I'm not a gearhead. I couldn't really tell you much about cars, but I do remember it was a Plymouth Fury. 
Here's a movie starring the late, great James Caan, who just recently passed away within the last month, a few weeks. Comes a horseman. Jane Fonda, Jason Robards are also in that movie. Here's Count Yorga, the vampire. 60s, no, 1970, I was close. Frank Sinatra as a detective? Yes, please, I will watch that. And that's the detective starring Old Blue Eyes. Another war movie, Christopher Walken in The Dogs of War. I think that's a great cover. I don't know much about guns either, but that looks like a badass gun right there. Here's an epic war type movie called Drums Along the Mohawk. Some sci-fi goodness, an H.G. Wells uh, adaptation into movie form called First Men in the Moon. I watched it, I really enjoyed it. I thought the effects were pretty good. Movie from 1964. Lionel Jeffries was in that movie. Here's the 30th anniversary of Fright Night. I know this was a hot ticket. It sold out pretty quick, and this was one that was pretty pricey. I don't know if it still held that value over the years. It was several years ago now. Next one is another kind of a war western called The Glory Guys. This one here was also a hot ticket. It sold out right away and people were spending big bucks on this one called The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Here's an older western called Gun Fury 3D. of the Baskervilles. Peter Cushing in this murder mystery. Sherlock Holmes movie. There's one called Harlock Space Pirate in 3D. Next one here is a Charles Bronson, always a tough guy, hard times, bare knuckle brawler during the Great Depression era, I believe. Paul Newman in Ombre, another Western movie. It's a movie called The Hospital. George C. Scott. James Garner and Jason Robards in Hour of the Gun. Here's Inferno 3D. Inherit the Wind, Spencer Tracy, Gene Kelly is also in here, Friedrich March. Here's another good one, with some sci-fi goodness from the 60s. Another, uh, this is a Jules Verne story called Journey to the Center of the Earth from 1959. history piece called Khartoum. Little Elvis strumming and a singing in Kit Galahad. James Conn again. Action movie called Killer Elite. Sam Peck and Paw film. Old Blue Eyes again. Kings Go Forth.
kiss of death. La Bambola di Satana, Satan's baby doll. Satanic horror type movie. Burt Lancaster is Lawman. Lee J. Cobb is also in here. The Man from Laramie. Major Dundee. Charles Bronson in The Mechanic. This movie has been remade. Here is Mind Warp. Is this the one with Bruce Campbell in it? Yes. Bruce Campbell is in that one. So is Angus Scrim, the tall man from the Phantasm movies. Here is Mississippi Mermaid. Here's a classic Gregory Peck in Moby Dick. This is a great movie. Beautifully shot. A month in the country. Some more Bronson goodness, Murphy's Law. Mysterious Island. Kind of a sci-fi adventure type movie. Very good. The Night of the Generals. Here's another one that sold out pretty quick and it was going for a pretty big box right away. I don't know if it still is to this day. This is Night of the Living Dead. And this is the remake. This is the 1990 version of Night of the Living Dead. Here's Charles Bronson and his wife, Jill Ireland. I believe I read somewhere that they did 15 movies together, which is a lot. They did a lot of movies together from noon till three. She died at a rather young age too of uh, breast cancer, sad to say. Here's Oliver, a great uh, musical piece. I, I enjoy that movie. I remember watching it as a kid. Here's old Blue Eyes again, pal Joey. Frank Sinatra was great. Next one's called Play Dirty, starring Michael Caine. I think this is a great cover, The Pirates of Blood River. Another Sinbad movie, and this was one that sold out and was going for big bucks on eBay. And this is Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Love those Sinbad movies. A movie called Resurrected. Two movies by Ken Loach, Riff Raff and Raining Stones. James Conn again and Roller Ball. Last one for shelf one is called Save Your Legs. This was another one I got pretty cheap. It was like half off, I think, when they had a sale. So I'm going to pause it here and we will finish up with this little bit right here. Okay, so let me see if I can push this down. First one is called Scorpio. Scream and Scream Again, that's a great cover. She's fallen into some kind of vat of, looks like acid. The Secret of Santa Vittoria, Italian movie. 
action movie starring Roy Scheider of Jaws fame. This is called The Seven Ups. I was trying to see who directed this. Produced and directed by Philip D'Antoni. Solomon and Sheba, another epic historical piece. The Stone Killer, starring Chuck Bronson. The story of Adelaide H. I don't know anything about that movie. Strange Invaders, sci-fi slash horror. Twin Billing of James Garner Movies, support your local sheriff and support your local gunfighter. Theater of Blood. And Vincent Price is in here, there he is. Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, that was the re-release, excuse me, that was the re-release, had a little hiccup there. This was the original release, I don't remember why they re-released it, but they did release it twice. Clint Eastwood, one of the best ever to do it. Here's a twin billing, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, very fun movies. Burt Lancaster in The Train, The Twilight Samurai, Two Road Together, Jimmy Stewart, and Richard Widmark, directed by John Ford from, let's see, when did that come out, 1961. It's a good one. Charles Bronson and the Valachi Papers. Movie about the mafia based on a true story. The Joseph Valachi Papers. Uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. When the Wind Blows. Kind of a post apocalyptic animated movie about an elderly couple who survives a, a blast where the sidewalk ends. Kind of noir. Here is Wild Bill starring Jeff Bridges. The Young Lions with Dean Martin. Montgomery Clift and Marlon Brando. Some huge names in that one. Here's Zardoz. This one has Sean Connery in it. This is a very weird movie. It came out in 1974. Zulu. And the last one for the Twilight Time collection was the only DVD I had from the company, and that's called Violent Saturday. I think I bought this for five bucks, brand new. I still have to upgrade that and get it on Blu-ray. So. That was it for the Twilight Times collection. Now I'm going to pause it here and we will get into this one shelf of the Kino Lorber titles. Okay, so getting into the Kino Lorber, they're another company that has a wide variety of genres. Uh, I really like that they release horror movies and western movies and they've, they've been doing a really good job. And they've really stepped it up. Um, most of their early releases were kind of plain Jane where they would just have kind of basic packaging. Um, they wouldn't have too many special features, but over the years they've been cranking out some good stuff and now they're releasing kind of more collectible releases and some of them are coming with slip covers and bonus features and booklets and they're releasing 4K stuff now and I have a wish list and a want list for this company too. There's quite a bit of stuff that I'm missing you'll, and you'll notice that when you see me go through this. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot that I still want to pick up, so I don't have everything that I want yet. And again, I have these alphabetized, starting with numbers. So the first one is called 100 Rifles. 
starring Jim Brown, Raquel Welch, and Burt Reynolds. Kind of a strange combination of actors, but it worked. It was a good movie. Here's a Western starring Yul Brenner called Adios Sabata. Here's a Fistful of Dollars. A Fistful of Dynamite, also called Duck You Sucker. Starring Rod Steiger and James Coburn, directed by Sergio Leone. A Minute to Pray, A Second to Die. Starring Alex Cord, and he was always a great actor. He was in a lot of different genre movies, too. He was in some horror and some westerns. I just pulled that one out. I liked it so much, I wanted to show it twice. Here's a reason to live, a reason to die. Starring James Coburn, Telly Savalas, and Bud Spencer. A Town Called Hell. Some more sci-fi goodness at the Earth's core. I really enjoy these type of uh, adventure type movies where they go into the center of the earth or below the sea. There's a lot of imagination and a lot of things that you can come up with to make things interesting. Here's Barcaro starring Lee Van Cleef. Bad Man's River also starring Lee Van Cleef. James Mason who was a damn good actor. Gianni Garco is in there. He was also a spaghetti western star of his in his own right. Here's Beware the Blob. Sid Haig was in that movie. Mario Baba movie called Black Sabbath. Charles Bronson in Breakheart Pass. Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Comes with that nice slipcover, that old fashioned kind of old school poster art. This movie was a silent movie from the 20s, I believe. 1920 exactly. It was a German silent film horror movie. Canon for Cordoba, starring George Papard from the A Team fame. Captain Apache, Lee Van Cleef again. And Death Rides a Horse with Lee Van Cleef and John Philip Law. John Philip Law was also in a lot of spaghetti westerns. Sci-fi horror called Doom Watch. Judy Geeson was in here. Candle for the Devil, amongst other movies she was in. Face to Face, this was really good, starring John Maria Valente and Tomas Milian. This is a good one. For a few dollars more, I know that this has been upgraded now to 4K with a slipcover. I'm going to track that down. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This was the first release of it from Kino on Blu ray. And then they released it in 4K with that beautiful slip. And I know that slip is pretty rare. I think that release is kind of pricey. Next one's called The Hellbenders, starring Joseph Cotton. He was always great. Journey to the Seventh Planet, some very low budget sci-fi horror. Chuck Connors, The Rifleman, in Kill Them All and Come Back Alone. Filmed by Enzo Castellari. Here's an American Western called The Long Riders. There's a lot of relatives in this movie. For example, you have David and Keith Carradine, along with Robert Carradine. You have James and Stacy Keach, 
And you have Dennis Quaid and Randy Quaid, and then Christopher Guest and Nicholas Guest. This is the complete television series of The Master, starring Lee Van Cleef. Shokasugi is also in that movie, in that uh, series. This one's excellent. The Mercenary, Sergio Corbucci movie. It has Franco Nero, Jack Palance. Very good. Silent movie called Metropolis. They added, um, there's two different tracks you can listen to. One is the original track, and I think the second one was, uh, they remastered it. Um, and Queen, the band Queen from England, I believe that they, um, they did the track, the soundtrack for the, kind of like the second version of the film. And if I remember right, something like that. Lee Marvin in Monty Walsh, also Jack Palance. Here's another spaghetti western called More Dead Than Alive, starring Clint Walker and Vincent Price is in here as well. You can see Vincent right there, he was the hangman. Here's Burt Reynolds as an Indian called Navajo Joe. I really miss that uh, that era of actor. You know, these guys are dying, and we're not really seeing actors in the same caliber as some of these guys from Days Gone. Another sci-fi underwater adventure, The Neptune Factor, starring Ben Gazzara. Ernest Borgnine is in there, and Walter Pidgeon. Slasher movie called Night Kill, starring the lovely Jacqueline Smith. Robert Mitchum is in here as well. I have the Night Stalker and the Night Strangler, both starring Darren McGavin from Christmas Story. Those are really good movies. I got both of those very cheap at uh, FYE like about a year or so ago, maybe more. Here is Night Tide, starring Dennis Hopper. They re-released this with a cleaner print, but this is the first release, and it's uh, it didn't really clean up that well, but they have since re-released it with a nice clean print. I gotta grab that one at some point. Here is Nosferatu, excellent movie. This is a two disc, limited edition with a slip box. It's another German silent picture from 1922 horror film. The People That Time Forgot. Love those kind of time travel sci-fi movies. Then there's a Rawhead Rex with a slip cover and a Rawhead Rex steel book. For the longest time this didn't really have a proper release. It had a DVD release, but it was very limited, and it was it was very hard to find and pricey. I do have the DVD, but it wasn't put up by Kino. I think it might have been put up by... No, I don't think it was Anchor Bay. I don't remember. This is Return of Sabata, starring Lee Van Cleef. The Revengers. See Ernest Borgnine, Ernest Borgnine again, and there's Woody Strode. He was great. William Holden. So I got a bunch of the Road Two movies, starring Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. I have the Road to Rio. These are fun movies. I have the Road to Zanzibar. These are in no particular order. I should have put them in order of when they came out, but I didn't. Road to Morocco, Road to Utopia, Road to Bali, up there, and Road 
to Singapore. So I'm just going to kind of go over these again really quick. Another Mario Bava film. This is a spaghetti western called Roy Colt and Winchester Jack, part of the Mario Bava collection. Here's Sabata, starring Lee Van Cleef. He was great, one of the greats in the genre of uh, spaghetti western. Here's Burt Reynolds again in Sam Whiskey. Also, Angie Dickinson is in the movie. Uh, she was always a doll. Here's the restored director's cut of Shoot the Sundown, starring Christopher Walken and Margot Kidder, Jeffrey Lewis. Next one is called The Specialists, filmed by Sergio Corbucci. And I have the Trilogy of Terror and Trilogy of Terror 2. Trilogy of Terror Part 1. The first one came with that nice slip cover. You can see Karen Black on the cover. And uh, I don't believe the second one was issued with a slip. I don't know for sure. This was a, a Christmas gift a couple years ago. But they're both uh, fun movies. The Unholy Four. Woody Strode is in here again. It's a great movie. Burt Lancaster and Valdez is coming. Revenge Western. Charles Bronson, The White Buffalo. Rod Steiger and Wolf Lake. Can't really describe this movie. It's about a, a group of guys who go away on a retreat uh, into the wilderness and they they anger the wrong guy and he I guess takes revenge and he starts picking these guys off and the last blu-ray is called young Billy young has Robert Mitchum and Angie Dickinson good Western movie and I only have one DVD from this company uh, it's kind of an old documentary called Devil's Needle and Other Tales of Vice and Redemption. I think this is from like the 20s. 1916. It's kind of, I think it's one of those public service announcement type documentaries where it's supposed to scare you into living a clean life type deal. You know, stay away from drugs and stuff like that. So that was it for the Twilight Time and the Kino Lorber. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving a thumbs up, and I appreciate the support. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit more, and every little bit helps. It's free. You know, if you want to subscribe for free and just easily, quick, give a one second thumbs up, I would very much appreciate it, and I do appreciate you guys. So thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Later. Mm -hmm.